Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Make It Yourself. Uh, I am uh, on the way to make a wall hanging uh, with the theme of under the sea. So these are few of the elements that I am making for my wall hanging. So in today's project I will teach you how to make the coral. The other uh, items like the seashell she and the seaweed. Uh, the links to those tutorials will be available in the description so do refer to the description for the pattern to the other items so let's get started so uh, we're going to start off uh, with a hook of 3.5 mm and uh, orange yarn we'll start off by making a slip knot and then we are going to chain seven so chain one chain two chain three chain four chain five chain six and chain seven so after that i'll i'll be making a single crochet in the next chain so we have uh, six chains now so into each chain make one single crochet so continue making this till the end of the chain so here we are on the fifth chain and now this is the sixth chain and I made the sixth a single crochet. Now we'll be working on the other side as well. So first start by making one single crochet in the same uh, chain or same stitch. Next turn your work and then go to the other side of the chain and start making the single crochet so one single crochet on each stitch so we'll have a total of 12 single crochets by the end of this entire uh, full round so continue making single crochets till the end So while working on the other side, I'm also working on top of the tail yarn. So once I have covered the tail yarn, I'm going to trim off the excess. Uh, now we are going to chain three. So chain three and turn your work. So into the very next stitch, make two double crochets into the same stitch. So the chain three is considered as the first double crochet. So these three together makes the first set of three double crochets. Into the next stitch make three double crochets in the same stitch. So this is the second double crochet. And this is the third double crochet. Similarly, continue making three double crochets in each stitch. So for this uh, entire round, we will just be making three double crochets in each stitch. So uh, if you see on both sides, we have total of uh, 12 uh, single crochets. So on top of that, since we are making three double crochets, so by the end of this round, we should have a total of 36 double crochets. So here we'll be working the entire um, round so we'll start off with the first stitch and we'll continue uh, till we reach the last stitch so here this is a turning point here too uh, on top of our single crochet we will be making three double crochets so on the similarly on the other side as well uh, make three double crochets in each stitch and repeat this pattern till you reach the first stitch of this round. So 
so here we are at the end of this round and now we are going to slip stitch to the third chain of our first stitch so our first stitch was a chain of three so into the third stitch insert your hook under these two loops and pull a loop and make a slip stitch after that again chain three this chain three will uh, count as the first double crochet into the very next adjacent uh, stitch make two double crochets so the chain three including the double two double crochets makes a set of three double crochets so here too like our previous round we are just going to make uh, three double crochets in each stitch so by the end of this round we should have a total of 108 single crochets so uh, just continue making these uh, increases or three double crochets in each stitch and uh, you will see that this uh, pattern a uh, wavy pattern gets formed by the time you reach the last stitch so here we are almost at the end of this round and you can see we have already got this <coughs> Uh, wavy uh, pattern and once we are at the last stitch as usual we are going to slip stitch it to the first stitch so our first stitch was a chain of three so into the third chain of the chain of three we will be inserting a hook under this two loops and then pull the yarn through through it and make a slip stitch now you can see that our shape is ready so you can leave it as it is or we can uh, do one more row in which we are going to do a um, set of reverse single crochet so chain two if you plan to do the next round so this is an optional round and your pattern will look good even without it so for a reverse single crochet after the chain two insert the hook into the previous uh, stitch and pull a loop and then pull through both the loops like what we do in a single crochet but in a reversed manner similarly again insert hook into the previous stitch pull under the stitch and then pull through both the loops so this is called a crab stitch or a reverse single crochet so we will need to make this reverse single crochet on top of each stitch till we reach our uh, first stitch so continue this pattern uh, until you reach the first stitch uh, it might seem a bit difficult at the beginning but as you continue you will get the hang of it also remember to keep your stitch loose so that it is easy to make the reverse single crochet so here uh, as you can see we are almost at the end and we have few more stitches left to uh, reach the first stitch so make the remaining reverse single crochet or crab stitch so when you insert your hook into the previous stitch and you pull the loop the loops are twisted and that's what gives the look of it now what we are going to do is we're going to make a slip stitch into the first stitch so this need not be a reverse stitch just make a simple slip stitch pull through the stitch and pull through this loop as well and once you're done with that uh, make a chain of one to place make a knot and pull it tight and then leave a long tail so that you can use this tail to stitch this coral to the uh, whatever is your background whether it's uh, um, wall hanging or even a blanket so here we are done with the pattern for the coral and you can make them in uh, different colors uh, based on your choice and if you're interested in making the other items uh, you can refer to the description i'll be adding the links uh, to the tutorials for the other items like the seashell and the seaweed as well so do check out the description as well 
I really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and um, if you did please do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for notifications and give me a thumbs up guys thank you very much for watching and have a good day